Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Olive Branch. I see a lot of new faces. Um, we're going to start out this morning with a couple congregational songs. So if everybody will please stand, we're going to sing O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
everyone sees. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Filled with His glory, yeah, it's rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown. Yeah, it's rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown, and together we. Everyone sing. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord God. Filled with his glory. All right, we're seeing Jesus Messiah. He became sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so amazing love so amazing Jesus Messiah above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from hell.
Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer. Uh, we want to welcome everybody here this morning. Uh, we hope you're enjoying this nice cold uh, morning, considering it was 65 degrees 24 hours ago. Um, wanted to go through some announcements. Um, we are continuing to try to help the folks down in Kentucky. Uh, to give you a little snapshot, um, last Tuesday night, uh, Mike Kaplinger and I took five generators up to Mount Pisgah Baptist Church in Shelbyville. They had a truck going down early Wednesday morning. So we were able to provide, uh, the church was able to provide five generators to go down to Mayfield. Those were delivered. Um, to give you a little um, a deal, uh, most of the generators that had gotten there, the church in Mayfield that we're dealing with, uh, Chief Cornerstone Baptist Church down there, um, they've been getting generators, but none of the generators were big enough to run the pump system that they had because their water in their church is on a well. Um, so... Um, when our generators got there Wednesday, um, one of the generators we sent was a bigger one and they were able to, to get it running and get, get water through their building and they called and said they, uh, they were able to get their bathrooms going again, they were able to have water to help cook and serve people and they were just kind of overwhelmed. Um, but um, so those kind of things are very humbling. Uh, those are God moments, but I uh, wanted you to know we appreciate everybody who's, who stepped up and helped us cover the expense of that. Um, we've been taking uh, totes and tarps uh, down, um, and you'll, you probably saw some out in the lobby. Um, so we're going to continue to do that, and we just uh, are staying in touch with that church down there. Um, as to what they need and and how we can help so if you have ideas about uh, if you have ideas about uh, things that we can do uh, we want to uh, reach out and help those folks as much as possible um, Amanda Carl wanted me to announce that the uh, um, women's Bible study is again uh, coordinating a winter edition of the blessing bottles you remember that we got the, uh, the big uh, water, like 32 ounce water bottles that everybody carries around. Uh, what we did was we got those and we put things in them, uh, hand warmers and things like that, um, uh, uh, hand sanitizer and those kind of things. And then we gave them all to you and told you to put them in your cars. And as you encountered those people standing at an intersection or whatever that, that were kind of down on their luck, you could literally roll the window down, hand them a bottle. Um, had had a little money in it and some things like that. So we're doing a winter edition of those. So um, uh, we're looking like hand warmers, Kleenexes, uh, gloves, um, and we're going to start putting those together after the first of the year. So if you're out shopping and you want to get some of those things uh, and pick up some of those water bottles, um, we will uh, uh, we'll be doing that again as we head toward winter. Um, our Christmas Eve service is going to be uh, this Friday. Surprise, Christmas Eve is Friday. Um, it'll be at 6 o'clock. Uh, traditionally, we have it over in the, the chapel building, but uh, with uh, COVID rise and things like that, we're going to have it in here where people can spread out a little bit. Uh, there'll be a lot of special music and some readings, and we're excited about that. So we invite you to uh, kick your Christmas Eve uh, off with us here at 6 o'clock. Um, our youth group is selling candy bars. Um, if you are able to uh, take a box of candy bars to your to your job or someplace where you could help us, uh, see Jenny Scudder and she will get you a box of those. Um, our Bible studies are continuing, um, and uh, Adam is teaching a um, a study on Christian service. 
Um, I told him the other day, I said, you know, you start a, you start a Bible study on Christmas, Christian service and all of a sudden there's a 200 mile long tornado and we have all kinds of Christian service to do. So um, his, his next Bible study will be on the prosperity gospel. So we're hoping money starts falling from the trees or something like that. Uh, and also uh, Richard is leading an Anthony Evans Bible study on the armor of God. So we invite you to come and be a part of those. Our Bible studies are, um, uh, our week, uh, through the week Bible studies, uh, Tom's and Melissa's Bible studies are on hiatus until after the first of the year. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and announce this because she told me to. But uh, on, uh, on, where is it, January 9th? Yeah, January 9th, Amy is having, Amy Ballard is having a surprise six, sweet 16 birthday party for Chloe. And that'll be at the Ohio County Historical Museum from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, you know, Chloe lost her dad here a month or so ago, and she's really been struggling. So on January the 9th, they're going to have a surprise Sweet 16 birthday party, and the church is, uh, the church is uh, invited. Um, I told her, I said, you know, this is going to be on, like, YouTube and Facebook. And she went, oh, she never watches. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks for that. Um, so, yeah, I put it up there. Nobody ever looks at that. Um, so uh, uh, just be in, in prayer for Chloe and, and uh, uh, like I said, she's had kind of a tough time and, and maybe that party will help her uh, 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 a little bit. Uh, we weren't able to uh, have our uh, live nativity tonight uh, because of illness, um, but uh, we, imp- we appreciate all the people that, that did planning for that and we hope that returns in 2022 uh, with a little more semblance of normalcy. But, um, so those are our, uh, our announcements for today. Our prayer list, um, the Danielle Northcutt family, uh, she uh, was involved in an accident. Uh, uh, Clinton was out there and uh, she passed away as a result of, uh, I think her car went in a pond um, yesterday and there were several uh, folks out there trying to help her. Um, uh, Clinton, I lost him, five kids, five kids. Um, week before Christmas. So uh, we want to uh, pray for that family and, and stand ready if there's things that we need to do to help them. Uh, Larry Northcutt, is that what you said? Her husband's name was Larry. Um, so uh, uh, just a tragedy here in our community. Uh, April Piercy, uh, Jill's niece. Uh, you may have seen uh, social media posts from Jill about her. She is getting better and she's now off the ventilator. So we praise God for for that. Uh, Josh Harrell is home and we praise God for that. Uh, Jill Cooley continues her treatments and uh, we just love Jill to death and and uh, so we uh, we are always in prayer for Jill as she goes through her treatments for pancreatic cancer. Uh, Morris Alford uh, continues to deal with some back issues and some other things so um, we want to remember Morris and Judy. Uh, Debbie's dad I think is doing better, doing great. So that's good. Um, uh, Roger Brooks's brother Emerson was having some seizures. Uh, he has a doctor's appointment now in January, so we're hoping they're going to get those things fixed. Um, and just uh, families dealing with stress of the holidays. You know, we always like to, we always think about all oh, the happy holidays, but the holiday time is a very stressful time for a lot of people, um, and uh, you know, who have dealt with loss and and just the stress of everyday life and trying to deal with Christmas and all of those things. So uh, we want to uh, remember those families um, that, uh, that, that deal with that. And then finally, our un- unspoken request. You know, there are a lot of things that people have that, that you all deal with and I deal with and we choose not to. Hello. Um, and uh, we, uh, we deal with uh, those things in our lives and we, we don't... We, we make a decision. We don't really want to share them out loud. And uh, I'll leave you with, a, with an assurance this morning that even though you don't share them with me or you don't share them with other people, God already knows about them. And the comforting thing about that is not only does he know about them, he's already, he already knows the outcome of those. So we can just kind of leave those. So uh, those are our prayer requests this morning. So if you would just join me in a, in a word of prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we... Uh, we just come to you today and we bring these concerns and others uh, and we just share them with you and ultimately, Father, we just leave them with you 
You are in control of all things. You, you already know these concerns before we come. You already know how they're going to come out before they do. And, and Father, it, it, as much as we worry about these things, it, it should give us a sense of comfort and, in knowing that, that your hand is on all of those things. Father, we, we ask that, that your hand of comfort and blessing not only be upon the names that are on this list, but, but their families, the doctors and the nurses who are seeing to their care, and, and just all of the others, Father, who are involved in these. Father, we, we also thank you for the blessings that you pour out on us as we, as we near this Christmas holiday. We, we just uh, thank you for the opportunity to gather with family and friends, and we ask for safe travels and, and just a time of, of joy in our fellowship. Father, now as we uh, pause to uh, uh, have our children's program, we just ask that you would bless it as well. And we ask all of these things, Father, in the name of your Son and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you ever wondered um, what Christmas, if Christmas light bulbs talk to each other? Um, like most Christmas light bulbs that you have, ours are a little older and are a little dim. <laughs> but uh, we are going to start this morning with our uh, merge group and they're going to come up and they're going to do their skit. So guys, you're on. By the way, it's Kale's birthday. I asked him this morning, I said, is it your birthday? And he said, in perfect church things, well, I'm not allowed to lie in church, so yes. So, we invite you to enjoy our skit by our youth group. Hey guys, glad to be back on the tree with you. Why are these branches so prickly? She's a replacement, Bob. She doesn't know how hard it is to be a Christmas light. Yes, and she's an LED light. They think they are so much brighter and better. Hey, hanging on prickly evergreen trees is what we do. Didn't you learn that at Underwriters Laboratories? He also doesn't know what it's like to always be compared to LEDs. I wonder where they even buy old-fashioned light bulbs like us anymore. Amazon. Hey, Red, wake up, man, or else you'll be replaced. Is Jesus a great big light bulb? No, why do you say that? Because in the Bible, Jesus says he's the light of the world. Jesus meant without him, there's no deliverance from the blackness of sin. Oh. Jesus also said, if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another. And he said, we are the light of the world. Jesus said we should let our light shine before others so that they may see our good deeds and glorify God. Sounds like being a light is pretty important. Wow, there are lights everywhere. We love our lights, our God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 